All right, what we're doing is taking down a kitchen light and putting up a ceiling fan. The first thing you always do is turn the power off. All the time, always. It's common sense, but always turn it off at the breaker. Because you never know if the switch is miswired. And if it is, it will cut off the neutral, but not the hot. Meaning the circuit's not completely cut. You'll be shocked and you'll be the ground. So that can kill. So don't do that. Always make sure the power is off before you do anything, ever. Uh, just because. So yeah, turn the power off at the light switch and at the breaker box. I have it off in two locations. That should guarantee safety. What I'm doing is I'm just getting all of my tools together that I'll need. I always carry two voltage testers with me. If one's messed up, I have another one. If they're both working, I always get two readings. That's comforting. No telling what else could be in there now. Is he alive? I don't know. Yep. You get outside. He's alive. You know what that means. There could be a bigger one in there. That's baby. Where's mama? Oh no. I'm nervous now. I'm moving the ladder back. Hey mama. If you're in there, you're in for a rude awakening. Why would you use that dress to leave? I don't know. Yeah, she'll leave. She might run out the bottom. <laughs> that would not be good. That would be scary. No, it would be. <laughs> I was at school one time. I found a big wolf spider in my bag in the middle of class. Oh, wow. I, threw, I got my book and threw it at it. <laughs> Teacher didn't care. She's afraid of spiders as hell. <laughs> and he thinks he was happy I did that. Uh, but you know that insulation in the top of these is no. heaven. A great home. Oh yeah. They actually bond to the ceiling. The screws are out and it's still attached. So I have to kind of chisel it. And I can come back in eventually and put a plate. Because I'm sure this will make a wear line. I can't today because I don't have one. But I'll come in and put one because you may have an ugly line where this was. Yeah. But it shouldn't be that noticeable, I don't think. I've never had one that stood out too much. Except at the farm, it had a light similar to this. Yeah. And I put a fan up with a small base. And there was still insulation stuff. Oh, this is one of the, this is a bad wear line, yeah. Uh, I'll have to come in and put a plate eventually. It may be ugly for a little while, but it will not stay ugly. Okay, I'm nervous. I'm hoping he was a loner. <laughs> I'm gonna prod. It, it looks like we've got it all clear. It looks good, but you've got one of the worst wear lines I've ever seen. Yep. You've got the worst wear line I've ever seen. <laughs> I'll come in and put a plate uh, eventually. I can't today. This doesn't bother you that much, does it? Yeah. It won't stay, though. Don't worry. I'm not going to leave it like this. It looks horrible. <laughs> I'm wondering, this is set up in... No, it isn't. Never mind. 
These older light fixtures have two wires. I thought there was wires running somewhere else. Vincent, I'd like to put a light up under here. Because yeah. I think there was one up under there at one point. No, I don't think there's anything one up there. There was a light on the wall in here because they said this box hasn't always been here. Oh my god. You see that sand? Mm-hmm. How long has this been here? As long as I can remember. Really? I can tell you that wiring scares me a little bit. What I'm gonna do before I touch anything is get an, another reading from the voltage testers. Yes. To make sure we're good. Okay, here we go. This is one. Okay. One of these is actually a neutral. That's the neutral right there. That's just detecting that there's a metal. What we're looking for is it to say that there is electricity. And it is not showing that there is. Wonder who put this in. Probably Perry. Yeah. Do you have a plate that I can put up for now just to cover that up? Um. The base of this fan is as big as this circle in the middle. So it'll cover up that little ugly, but you're going to have this brown spot, and this here is loose. So it, you'll have another brown spot. There's a little web up in there. A little what? Web. Oh. Checking it with my light. <laughs> Okay. Here goes nothing. Okay. Bruh. I didn't know this was like this. If I had known, I would have gotten a plate. Uh -huh. I see one, two layers of sheetrock. Yeah. And actually, this wire nut, I don't know. Oh my god. Ugh. Coming out. This wire that's being stubborn. It's too old to move. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna cut it. I'm gonna have to cut the wire. First, I'm gonna cut the wires coming from the light and see if that gives us the slack that we want. If that, if that doesn't work, I'm gonna have to cut the other wires. I'm also gonna have to heat shrink wrap this wire here because it's actually the neutral, but uh -huh. it's so old that it's become black. And that can lead to a number of problems. I'll tell you what, I knew we were taking down a lot. I didn't know we were taking down the ceiling. So what I'm going to do is I have some heat shrink wrap that I'm going to put around the neutral wire that is colored white. And what this is going to do is just tell whoever ends up having to take the fan down whenever I put the plate up or whenever or next time in 20 years that they're renovating, it'll just show that one's the hot. The other's a neutral. Uh, you'll have to cut it. I know, but is it wide enough to cover it? For the most part. Cut it in a circle. What I'm doing right now is trying different sizes of shrink wrap on it, and this one's too small. But I have white shrink wrap that uh, is normally used to cover wire nuts up to make them waterproof. Yeah. But I can cover up the wire to make it the proper color. Oh, yeah, I'll do that. I have a 
slightly bigger size. This one should cover it. Nope, too small. Alright, I've tried two sizes. Too small. I had some of this stuff, but I don't know what happened to it. I've got this yellow stuff. It's not white, but this isn't white like I wanted it to be, but it's yellow. So it'll cover it. Oh, uh, yep. For the most part, yes. I don't think you'll have any. Do you want to cut it in half here? Yeah, do that. What I'm doing, just heating, heating that wire up. There you go. I've got that shrink wrap. That just shows that that is the neutral. And it covers up any potential. Okay. And I'm going to get some black on that other one because it is uh, not in the best of shape. Uh, the wire casing. So I'm going to put something flexible on it to make it a lot safer. Yeah. going to have to cut it. This shrink wrap is good stuff. You can get it at Home Depot for cheap. It's vinyl. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's vinyl. Uh, and it's uh, heat. And when you put a flame to it or a heat gun, it just uh, wraps around the wire. It's very tight. So I don't think it's going anywhere. And it's just a second layer of protection that I'm putting on these old wires. Because uh, these wires had me a little worried. There it is. Up there. Hey! That is shrink wrapped. Now I'm going to strip the wire where I had to cut the end off to get the light off. Check it with my gauge here. My strip gauge. Okay, we're good. We're done. Now, I'll have to take a minute, cut some holes in this. Hey, Liz. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll need a, a knife or something. I think I know what will work. I need something that will cut three holes in this, a big one in the middle and two on the sides. So I can stick the wire through and the... Okay, that's what I'm going to think. I'll pause the video while we're looking for it. Okay. Casing on these wires is in such bad shape. Love it, 
we're gonna electrical tape it, but I'm gonna try to see if I can pull any excess wire out of the attic. Yeah. Got these rubber pieces. I'm not sure I want that plastic up here yet. Okay. To be totally honest, for one reason, it's because I'm worried about that casing that's exposed. Mm -hmm. And if it were to touch that plastic, I don't know if that's good. Uh, yeah. Um, I want it up here, but I don't think it would be a good idea. Yeah. That's the only thing I'm worried about. What we need to do is have this kitchen light rewired, but yeah. we can't do that today. So for now, I'm just probably going to have to leave it off because I don't want this house to burn down because of that. Because we want something to look good. Yeah. And I'm also going to ground it really well. No, don't get me wrong, I want that thing up there, but I'd rather have an ugly spot in the ceiling than oh, yeah. what is no ceiling to have. Yeah, they're not that expensive. wonder if there was ever a fan in here. There's a small light base. No, that small light base is from a light fixture. Yep. Yeah. One of those old ones. Yeah.
Hunter actually allows you to do this. Oh, I was talking in the video. Um, Hunter allows you to hang the fan from these little hooks they put on it while you're wiring it. It's pretty cool. And I wish all fans had this, but they don't. And Hunter, like this, doesn't really exist anymore, which is sad. But it's just how it happens. Ground. All right. Where do you give me the electrical tape? Is Eldon good at electricals? Oh, yeah. Is he a certified electrician? Yeah. He's a contractor on all levels. Yeah, I think so. Wonder if you'd be willing to put a new wire from that kitchen to this, that switch there. Oh. Put a switch lead. Yeah. Because uh, we need one. The wire nuts on that light were so old that they were breaking as I was taking them off. Oh my gosh. Yeah, they're old. They've probably been there since the 40s. I don't know about that one, but they've been there a hell of a long time. <laughs> Definitely too long to not have ever been, uh... Again. Yeah. Yeah.
when I ask you to, will you hand me a blade, please? Alright. I'm about to need one. Okay. Alright. Just better get these little bushings off. So it has the shipping things in it, so I have to move the ladder around. Yeah. Well, I used to take them out on the ground, but I realized putting the blades in, the shipping bushings are good to have because the motor's not spinning while you're trying to screw the screws in. Right. <coughs> so, this is how I do it now. Blade. Did you have an extra blade? No. Oh. Okay. I could leave it like this. Just say we're done. <laughs> yeah. I didn't. I didn't want to go down my stove. <laughs> <laughs> talk to Jimmy about the wire in here though. Yeah. I'm gonna tell him that's the next thing that needs to be done is to have an electrician come do the wires yeah. in this room. Because they were melting. I, I, I'm gonna go ahead and do this. But uh we need to jump on that. Yeah. Alright, last one, last blade.
we go. Blades are on. Yeah. Almost there. And there you go. And there it is spinning. It's a good size for this ring, I must say. Yeah, it is. Thank you. 